Well, this is a surprise. With the sky we had today, it was, uh, <laughs> well, it was hit and miss, really. It was a solid white blanket up there this morning. And then these big, heavy rolling clouds uh, passed through, and we'd have like a two-minute rainstorm, and it'd stop, and the sun did pop out, and each time it popped out, I was too late to <laughs> try to get any footage of it. That's why I'm surprised to see this guy up here. This is a 26% lit waxing crescent moon over here in the west. I think the app said it was the southwest, but it's not. That's my west. We can actually go in a bit to see it. Some detail. It's not quite dark enough to uh, see much, but Now it's going down quite fast. A few clouds passing over too. Okay, and there's the area. The one I'm always pointing out. The one with the mesa and the crater at the tip of it. That normally has the two light beams that shoot out of it. And I had a hard time finding it because... Uh, I don't see any light beams coming out. Maybe we'll see it better on the computer, hopefully. Anything's better than this stupid tiny monitor. Thank God. Okay, we'll let that come down. I'll probably fast forward it. And then get a look at the rest of the sky. It's a milky color. It's pretty much white, except for the uh, few clouds that have the orange sunburst cutting through it. Yeah. Not total impatience, but I want to catch this on camera. Damn it, just a second. Look like a split sky there. can see the line and even the cloud looks split. That's not near as good as uh, a lot of people get. Oh well. That's uh, in the northwest right there. Okay, I didn't catch this until during review, but there's 32 seconds of this white object going upwards. Um, this is a zoomed in version and uh, I don't know what it is. It's not a bird. It's not a bug. It's not a plane. So, I have no clue what it is. Birds galore. And it's funny because the camera seems to be picking up a blue and it's not what you see by eye. It's a, it's a white gray up there. And I guess that's just a beam of light from the sun as it's hitting the clouds in the atmosphere. I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, and the moon's up pretty high. It's about 50 to 52 degrees up there. But cool shots here with the crescent in the tree. Now the moon's going to be spread further apart from Venus. And you know what? I'm going to try to snap some pictures to uh, try to get the true color of the sky. Because it's not that light blue that's shown on, on the monitor. So, I hope to be back. And if not, y'all take care. Be safe now. Bye. Okay, it might be around 8.30 now. I'm not sure. But I just want to get some uh, fast forward footage. So we'll let this run. And I just have to double check that beam area. <laughs> Still nothing up there. Hmm. It's interesting. It's only a few times now I haven't been able to see the beams. Yeah, I haven't seen anything unusual fly across the face of the uh, moon, but then I haven't been able to get the moon too often. And I do have AE lock on. It seems to make a difference um, for this time of day. Oh, and by the way, I did uh, stop and take a few more photos on aperture and on manual settings and I still couldn't get the proper colors of the sky to come out like I'm seeing it by eye. So white. It was putting in a pinch of blue in there. Alright, come on baby. It is kind of cool to see these in a fast speed. But of course when I review I watch it uh, normal speed so I don't miss anything. I have a feeling that Venus might pop up over there. I think it, uh, <laughs> if it was able to the other night, it should be able to cut through that stuff. Come on, just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, it's almost like it's stuck there. Now it's slowly going down. <laughs> Come on, tip's almost down there. And there she goes. And I'll turn AE lock off to show more of the true color. That's more like what I'm seeing. Very washed out sky. That's more in line with what I'm seeing. Kind of. <laughs> and still southeast that uh, Jupiter's going to have to work through. And that's what Venus has to settle on. Okay, I'm fogging everything up from the uh, humidity, so I hope to be back. And if not, y'all take care. Well, I came back out to try to get Venus and the moon, but the western and northwestern sky is a black mess over there. But over here in the southeast, we do have Jupiter and four of its moons. It looks like three of them are trailing and one up ahead. But it's been uh, cutting in and out too. So it, there's a lot of uh, crap in the sky over there. And I'll try to dial it in better and get a few pictures and we'll call this a night. I can't believe how dark it got over in the western sky. Anyway, that's going to have to do. I'll try to get some pictures. All right, y'all take care now. Bye.